Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, welcome to your collective message and July prediction. You might want to grab a pen and paper. I'm going to be giving you guys some key dates to write down for this month. Things could happen. Um, yeah, things could be good, you know, however you perceive it. It's so funny because Clever came out in your channel messages and that was the song that shuffled in for you. So either you're becoming more clever or there's a need to become more clever um, now and going forward into July. Yeah, my computer just came on. The lighting's getting weird. The sun's coming up, so bear with me. Um, no makeup natural, yeah. I decided like I'm just wearing mascara this whole month and that's it, like I'm giving my face a break. Y'all might, because I don't wear much makeup to begin with, but especially for some reason this month, I've just been, okay, this lighting. There's a need to make some adjustments, change some things around. <sighs> okay, so yeah, relocation this summer, going separate ways. Um, you could have gotten a car accident or had a situation with your car or something like that, or avoided a car accident. Something about fake friends and a car going separate ways today. Um, some Today, whenever you see this, yeah, I see a chipmunk. So whatever day you see this, something might be the topic of conversation. Blue eyes could be important. Some of you guys could be reconciling after a divorce or a separation. You're going on a date night, maybe changing your views going to a party, or maybe this happened in the spring. Maybe some of you are going swimming. Some of y'all are going to Africa or London. <laughs> Lucky. Um, some of you are getting roses and upgrades. I feel like something happened in the winter, but it was just God trying to give you a lesson. Like you could have went through some hard times in the winter, but God's not going to give you more than you can handle and the rainbow is coming out or Pisces energy um, also romance you could be buying a house with your partner or going on one of those like bike dates you know when you ride bikes and stuff like that uh, a motorcycle could be significant you could have met somebody at the bar on a motorcycle or you could be driving your motorcycle to the bar there is a delay going to a Hispanic country or something. I need to go on a diet or a focus on your diet. A promotion, secret messages about scars or having scars because someone's a wild sleeper. Maybe somebody scratched you with like their toenails. Ew. Um, crystals, placing blame. Ooh, I hope y'all heard that. Three on the dot. Crystals placing blame, London, and death in family. So some of you guys could be coping with the death in your family by like buying crystals and trying to like meditate more. And if that's you, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you guys are recovering well. Gemini energy 10 on the bottom of the deck. So it could be a Gemini specifically dealing with that or some kind of loss, but I feel like you're learning wisdom. Yeah, 10 here too on the two cards that fell out on the bottom of the deck. So definitely Gemini. Some of you guys could be reading more this month, getting a dog, inspiring and teaching people, um, maybe being honest about some issues, mental health, I'm hearing. Yeah, maybe starting a mental health organization, solar plexus chakra, mm -hmm. really nice. Yeah, shadow. Uh, March 18th could have been significant for some reason. Left ankles itching there air signs overall energy so there's something you're gonna learn soon because the song clever never started so you're gonna learn something that's gonna make you very clever potentially this month third eye chakra six so yeah it's not activated right now in june it's gonna you're gonna realize something after july or during july and it's gonna change the way you think about certain things Air signs, energy for July, please. Solar plexus came out, yep. Some of you are considering buying a Tesla. 
So you have triumphant success and recognition and reward in reverse, solar plexus chakra in reverse, but solitude upright. So yeah, I feel like you're really staying out of the way this month, maybe going within to learn certain things. Um, some of you guys are just bought a necklace, maybe. Some of you are not going to church, but... When you go into solitude, you're going to find something that you were looking for, like a very key piece of information, maybe in a book, like everything you're looking for. Yeah. Obstacles and challenges, the solutions to problems. Maybe if you had some problems in May, you're going to find the solution in July. When you start reading, you're going to come across some information and be like, oh, yeah. You might come across old things, memories of love. But like I said, you could be honoring your ancestors, your family members, anyone that's passed away, giving special attention to them. Yeah. Air energy in both cards. Yeah, so this is specifically for you. I keep saying Gemini. There's going to be a change in what you're passionate about, too. Criticism. You're, so there's something that you want to do. This is this is a lot a lot of Gemini energy here. So there's something that you want to do, but you're scared of how people will perceive it. Like you, you're scared of criticism and like stuff like that. Like you could be criticizing yourself, or you're you're just scared of what people might think of you. Um, so that's something that needs to kind of be dispelled before, yeah, your fate and fortune changes. You have to let go of what other people think. Um, yeah, Gemini energy. You have to really let go of what other people think if you want a new everything, a new life, you know, a new way of viewing things. That's what you have to let go of. And like other childish kind of like mind repetitive cycles have to be let go of. Air signs, July. Coming out of depletion, but you're going to realize something. You could be dealing with a fire sign or a Pisces. Because you're more passionate about being by yourself. Or maybe your home life right now is making you feel depleted for some of you. Like you're trying to express what you need to feel not safe at home but like more comfortable at home but you're scared to speak up maybe yeah gemini this is all gemini energy in this union so uh, there's a union that is illusion um june 10th could have been significant because somebody isn't transforming yeah. And now I feel like in July, you're going to realize that, yeah, you, oh, maybe you're going to realize in August too. August 16th, it's 816 on the time right now. So write down August 16th, August 10th, um, those two dates for sure. You're going to realize that something isn't divine, whether it's a job, a relationship, something Something isn't transformative and it doesn't feel like it's meant to be. That's why you can't get comfortable, yeah. Ooh, but some of you could be pregnant. Um, Libra season is going to be significant, so September. Some of you guys could be pregnant in September, realizing this. Or you're about five months pregnant right now, or you got pregnant in May. And you're trying to be patient. Some of you may not know. Yeah. But it's going to make you ascend, though. Yeah, you're going to go through an ascension and be able to manifest better. But there there needs to be cleansing. 5, 5, 10. So pretty much 10 on the bottom of the deck. Wow. So there needs to be a transformation and like a cleansing through something. Like you're going to realize 10, 10, 10 that something isn't changing or something's not feeling right because it's not meant to be. And you're going to realize that, yeah, alchemy and Sagittarius energy in reverse. So something needs to be purified. Something is very immature. 
something is just kind of like I don't want to say beneath you but I don't know how else to kind of like translate that but you're gonna realize that something's just childish like something's childish and you try to have courage with it but you're just not finding happiness with it whether it's a job friendships anything it could be anything in your life and this wasn't your intention. Tower moment. Yeah. Tower moment. Because you feel pretty depleted. Some of you are just depleted because, like, you have... Ooh, notification. You haven't realized you're pregnant yet. Yeah. And you're going to find out during July. Yeah, moon on the bottom of the deck. Creative child spark. Yeah. You're going to find out in July. Yeah, and you're going to keep it. Mm-hmm. Yep. A lot of you, yeah. And you're in denial. So, ooh, you're going to go through a huge transformation in August. Right down August 10th. I don't know if I said that already. August 13th. Some of you guys are finding out you're pregnant. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And I hate to keep saying that, but, like, I have to say what I see. But for some of you, I feel like you realize something's not meant to be, and then you find out you're pregnant, and you're like, oh, shit. Yeah. You find out. But the experience on whatever regard is going to cause you to ascend 555 five, five here, because there's some manipulation that needs to be cleaned out, but you haven't realized yet in the home life you haven't realized that somebody's still not honest sagittarius energy cycles are repeating and someone's not expressing themselves honestly and you're just and you keep trying to nurture lies and then i feel like by libra season you're going to get sick of the problems another notification you're going to get sick of the conflict and you're going to be like okay look i'm looking for happiness i'm looking for love and this just isn't it and it's going to cause you to go through a resurrection Mark my words, in September, you're going to see some shit for what it really is, and it's going to cause you to change a lot of things around. Yeah. Some of you will be pregnant. Some of you won't be. All of you will realize what you desire. Yeah. And in Libra season, you're going to be shook. You're Like, it's going to start off, yeah, criticism, Gemini energy. And then you're going to be like, wait, I wanted success. Like, what the hell is this? Boundaries, 10, completion, scared. Like, so if you can avoid the situation now, really look at what's around you because you don't want to find out when it's too late that something isn't what you wanted or something isn't what you thought. You know what I mean? Because what I see right now is all the June stuff was reversed because you haven't realized July, you're going to start realizing some things. August, you're going to be confused about these, some things. September, you're going to realize that you've been nurturing lies, I'm hearing. You've been nurturing something that isn't honest. You've been nurturing something that isn't like in alignment with you. Some of you will be pregnant by then, and it's going to be kind of like a learning lesson. Others of you are just going to have to make the decision to have control over those hidden demons and just kind of transform on some off with your head type shit, three, two, one, you know, and start all over. And that's fine. You know, all of you are going to realize what needs to be purified. Like it's just on whatever side of the spectrum you land on obsidian, black obsidian protection. Yeah. Some of you guys need protection. I don't know if that's sexually or like firearms, <laughs> but protect yourselves energetically. Get black obsidian to protect your energy, your world, your space. Yeah, you see how this ribbon's wrapped around her? Protection, yeah. <sighs> yeah, the energy is kind of like intense. Like I feel like I'm delivering very intense information. So I feel like right now, or in the beginning, something looked like everything you could ask for. The Ace of Cups, that's the best card in the deck. In June, you realize you've been fooled, you've been tricked, these cups are empty. I'm here to try to help you. This isn't not for all of you. Some of you guys, you know, this is kind of for if you already have lingering problems and like things that have already happened going on and already having questions. 
this is for you. Just a matter of when you, like you don't wanna be in September up at night because you didn't do something sooner. It's June right now. It's not too late. <laughs> you can still have the Ten of Cups, but you have to make decisions and sacrifices and things like that. So, air signs, energy. Ooh, I see a card sticking out. Defensive. Air energy. Swords. Very defensive. You could have red hair. So someone has a blindfold on. Um, I see a air sign, water sign, two feminine energies, the queen of cups and the two of swords, defensive towards a water sign. Then you have fire energy, ten of wands, and a knight of pentacles. So someone feels like they're holding up something to somebody who's offering nothing. Yeah, queen on the bottom of the deck. And somebody's waiting for more effort, but they're going to realize, like, yeah, it's not changing. Queen of Swords. So justice with the Queen of Swords, that's you. Libra season. You're going to call justice on something. You're going to realize that something's been, yeah, none of these knights have anything in their cup, like I'm telling you. And for a while, you let it slide. You picked up all the slack, you know, you try to defend everything, but by Libra season, it's a wrap. Seven of swords, seven, July, you're going to start seeing some shit. Like, I can only say this so many times. Six of wands. So, uh, June 3rd could have been significant. June 2nd, June 3rd, June 10th. Could have been significant too. Yeah, the moon. Maybe you found out something the first week of June. You found out, yeah, something wasn't what you thought it was. Somebody's been juggling Sagittarius energy in reverse. Somebody doesn't have as much money as you thought. Yeah. And what you thought was like the perfect balance, the perfect union, it... You're just going to realize that you just want more. Some of you. Some of you are content and happy and great. And that, so these messages will not be for you, the emperor here. But others of you are going to realize. Page of cups. Page of cups. Baby boy energy. Have y'all seen baby boy? <laughs> the moon. Yeah, secrets. 18. So... The 18th, what's today? So tomorrow, so you're, you might find something. Powerful, intuitive epiphanies. You might find something out tomorrow. Clever is the song. It didn't ever start because we're not on tomorrow yet. Yeah, you might find out something tomorrow. And the desire for a more meaningful life, realizing that it's time to move on, choosing to make major life changes. You could be spending a lot of time in nature too. Anything else for air signs? For July. Reward yourself for all your hard work. Um, being happily and successfully self-employed, cherishing your alone time. So yeah, this is nine, September. So yeah, between now and September, you're going to realize that like just something isn't all it's cracked up to be. I prefer to be on my own. I'd rather be on my own. So some of you will decide to do that and you're going to reward yourself for everything that you went through, every decision that you made, and it's going to be great. I see a lot of grapes here. She's playing an instrument. Some of you guys could play instruments. Um, Halloween is going to be significant. Some kind of foreshadow. 10 on the bottom of the deck. October. Halloween. Yeah. So Halloween is going to be significant. Um, just make sure you're saving your money around that time. And planning for the future. For sure. Between September and... Um, between September and October. And make sure you keep your ego in check. Yeah. 
because there's going to be some differences, some opinions, some controversy, so on and so forth. So pay special attention to that. Air signs, those are your messages for July and overall. So you got some work to do, but don't we all. So take care. Please, ooh, my earring back fell off. earring back fell off that's the security for the diamond something's gonna lose its like stability yeah now anything goes right take out resumes